It's an honour to be asked to contribute a poem to Vigor and Skills. I feel that making and the process of creativity are more important than ever in the current climate. Making poetry throughout the lockdown has been a complete life raft for me. It's helped me understand what's going on and myself more deeply. But it's also helped me feel connected to the whole, despite isolating alone. Because creativity is sort of that web that we're all in, deriving from a single source. And when you tap into it in the moment, you're sort of tapping into the fabric and underlying structure of existence itself. E. E. Cummings says the artist is no other than he who unlearns what he has learnt in order to know himself. And I feel that is the crux of creativity, in that each, in each work of art, each sort of piece of work, we're getting closer to the truth of our innermost essence. We're peeling back another layer. And, you know, that's the process. We just sort of keep going and sort of refining and improving ourselves. So it's important to recognise, you know, this, the making, this process, which is what really matters and not the outcome or the result. And to, to hear people's individual stories, it's sort of uplifting and connecting. Ultimately, you know, our greatest work of art is ourselves. And I feel that that process of self-transformation is inseparable from creativity. They sort of work together in tandem. Um, so the poem I'm going to read is called The Revolution, which is about this revolution of the human psyche that I feel is so important. Each person taking control of their inner space and reverting to a sort of beginner's mind, being a child again, you know, moving out of the robot into that sort of infinite space of being. The revolution. She had felt that because nothing lasts, nothing really matters. I wrote that on this envelope's back I'm staring at. But when and why and who she is, is hazy. I don't feel that. I feel I've had enough though, of this bind. I'm over being told. My body's knowing seems to count for nothing. My mind's confused, a huddled partridge given rain. I'm over this and underwhelmed by man. Brittle, vague, and clawing for the helm, sometimes wicked. I'm over ticking off things, ready to investigate the gap. So I've decided to leave and hold my life in hand, take charge of my own inner space, begin a one-man band. Who's in? We're forming fairly near the edge, to sounds of breaking sea. The mind decays seeking security. So why not be an eagle, soaring eastward? We need a revolution. Not the old revolting kind, where one triangle upturns another, but a world on a level, with near points of power, nearer than heartbeats, easy as leopard light. It's not a time to be timid, to outsource thoughts and power, but to remember our connection, to find the key in how we see it. Imagine what we'd lift if we could breathe in unison. Let's move as humankind in maskless awe, feeling the fabric of existence in our touch, knowing ourselves as heaven's door. Our time walks on and must persist until we reach the golden age that's promised. The old age way is burning up, depleted. But look and see a phoenix brightly rising. It's you and I who need to dust down falsity, inhabit ourselves fully. What truth is there inside of you, thirsting? Forget the rest. Thank God a poem doesn't need to answer. 
but only open up like peonies, whose waxen petals droop fat and spent returning. Yes, no thing lasts, they seem to say, but yes, the nothing just behind is real and matters. I turn the envelope afresh, investigating further. It seems she knew it all along. Thank you for listening.